Hi everyone, this is Neil Wright, a consultant, audiologist and director of Clearwax. Thank you for joining me in this latest video, which demonstrates the use of the wax scope. And this procedure is actually not performed by myself. It's performed by uh, a colleague of mine, a very young, aspiring, very talented audiologist by the name of Maxwell Vokes, who works for his family-run business, Correct Hearing in Nottingham. And um, Max was one of the first specialists to get trained using the Wascope uh, earlier this year. And his progression has been outstanding and um, he's, he's forever forwarding me videos for advice and each time I watch him perform a procedure, his, his technique and skill level is definitely uh, improving incredibly. So um, this is a case that I asked Max if it was okay for me to share and upload because, again, it just shows you what's possible with the wax scope. It's a patient who attended with quite soft wax, and I think Max is using the fine end suction probe here. And this wax he's removing at the moment is just up against the eardrum. In fact, in a moment, when he lifts his skin, you'll see the annulus. Uh, the annulus is a piece of fibrocartilage which surrounds the main body of the eardrum, the past tensor region, and it gives the eardrum its tautness. Um, so that's how we know he's working very deep. And you can see the canal just below the waxes that he's going to remove in a moment. That's the isthmus. That's where the ear canal narrows and widens. So it's probably half a centimetre just in front of the eardrum. Um, and Max um, spoke to me the other day, and he was initially trained using head-worn loops and um, he hasn't used them since getting trained with the wax scope and this is a classic example of a procedure that he would really really struggle with using head loops because the limited magnification moving wax laterally in the entrance he would be fine but he didn't have the confidence to go this deep into the ear and so he's um, extremely pleased with the wax scope and he was just called to thank me actually and um so he's got a, a TikTok channel, um, which is doing very, very well. So if you're on TikTok, you can follow him. It's, I believe, Max for Wax. Uh, so it's a little play on his name there. And so he's removed the wax off the eardrum. And what he's going to do now is just work all the way around the perimeter of the ear canal. He's going to stretch the ear open in a moment to get access posteriorly. And you may notice that the, the annulus is quite yellow, actually. Um, so I don't know if this patient's a bit older. And he's actually going to use the, the zoom function uh, at the end of the procedure to have a close-up close of the eardrum. And so this is Max working really, really closer to the canal wall. And because of the magnification provided by the wax scope, he feels comfortable now working that close. Whereas previously, he, he didn't feel confident because he wouldn't be able to really differentiate between the wax and skin and the canal because of the lack of magnification. So the image quality may not be as good as um, what Max was seeing when performing the procedure. It's just because he shared it to me via WhatsApp and um, quite often the, the video footage quality isn't as good when it's forwarded. So it's just some skin that is peeling here. And I think there's just a bit of wax at the roof of the ear canal so he's just angling the wax scope upwards to the roof he's going to go a bit higher in a moment i believe to peel this skin and it's good technique because he's just allowing the suction to do the work so he's just going a bit higher to get a better suction grip so if you were doing this with loops you're your neck will be um, twisted upwards, um, looking at the top of the ear canals, but with the wax scope and the eye scope, endoscope, you're just looking at a, a monitor right in front of you, the smartphone. So it's much more ergonomic, um, provides you with much better body posture. It's just a bit of skin to the anterior canal wall. You're just going to peel away. And then he's got a great view of the eardrum, so he's going to get this into focus. And you can see the hammer burn. So the annulus is around the perimeter. He's going to zoom in on the short process of the malleus because it's protruding somewhat. So some patients have a really protruding um, short process. 
Well, I hope you enjoyed that video, guys. Take care. Keep well and speak soon. Bye.